Weasel Bandit. Good evening, Weasel Gents and Jills. Welcome to Prison Architect. My name is Weasel Bandit. We will continue from where we left off in the earlier episode, where we were planning this whole prison here. And uh, if you haven't watched it, a quick overlook. Uh, I introduced the basic uh, key features here, how you uh, will separate all the different rooms and stuff like this. And, uh, well, showed you how I usually plan a prison in advance. Great. A little bit of, well, pre-information before we start actually building this. As you can see, I have my men here running around. Uh, and the reason they are doing that is because I have chosen to bulldoze all these trees, most of these trees, uh, ahead of schedule before I'm going to build something there. And the reason for that is because when I start to build something, they will automatically bulldoze these trees. So it'll save a little time in the end. Uh, or during when I have to uh, to build the the different parts of my jail and uh, well in exchange for spending a little bit of time doing this now but that doesn't matter because as you can see up here my prison is now closed for t taking in new inmates so I am not actually losing anything I'm actually gaining something because as you can see here I keep uh, I have a daily uh, well overflow of cash. Uh, I have more money coming in than out because I haven't used anything here. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't set any, set any set any expenses off. I haven't hired any wardens or other guards or other builders or anything else. So uh, the time they used here to get rid of all of this is actually just time where I'm earning money. So if we just speed up a little bit here until they're finished then you can see here that it's actually good now right so now we are actually totally clear of trees in everything here it only took like four in-game days and uh, well i think about 30 to 35 minutes in real time <laughs> so it does take a few hours and i did have to uh, to well hire some more guards and uh, not uh, guard workers to not well make it last for four real days but the great thing about this is that now it's totally clear it will be faster to actually build the stuff you are going to build and if you are ever in a tight spot where you need money you can sell all of these here see you can go down there sell and you can sell each of these for like uh, well 150 bucks or they're uh, in that ballpark. And, well, that is actually really handy to be able to sell this, because there are several th thousand dollars worth of, of uh, tree logs in here, but you can sell them later on after you process them in the work space area, the work... Uh, this one right here, the... Uh, <laughs> The workshop space area, yes. <clears throat> right, onward to what we were actually going to do in this here. There are two types of buildings you can build. There are bricks and concrete. As far as I know, there are no uh, difference, actual difference between these other than looks. I like the concrete ones because, well, I think it's more prison-y. So, first off, I'd like to build some offices so i'm gonna start with this and then i'll tell you why i do this uh, in this manner it's because first off you need a warden after you have the warden you can unlock bureaucracy and in bureaucracy you can unlock um other stuff too and all of the workers have already finished this block here now it just needs a door and i have built a two space walkway in the middle here and I like to well keep things nice and cozy and uh, OCD friendly so I'm going to build a double door there yes and when they install that this place here will become available for indoor refurb furnishing this is what's happening now yeah 
You see these here? These are lights, uh, well, lamps waiting to be installed. I usually cancel those because you still get the lights, but you can, well, put them anywhere you like. So it'll be, you can reassess them, rearrange them as you want, and uh, I like to do that. Let's see, I wanted to do something else here. I have the storage area up here. And I want the deliveries a little bit larger. I have them right there. I'll just do that. And uh, later on, I'm going to make these areas smaller. But as you build things and as you, uh, you create a lot of stuff, in the beginning, it's going to pile up. So I like to just have a lot of space where they can put them. Yes, great. So now you can uh, build the indoor stuff here, and there you are going to need the materials. I am usually just going for the brick, uh, the concrete wall, because well, I have a concrete building, and uh, this is how I do it. I have a lot of offices here, which requires me to build them at least four point four times four. I've built them five times five because well, some of them needs four times four and other needs five times five and well I just like to keep the symmetry going. Staff doors here a little bit more expensive but then only authorized personnel can enter. Right so these are six offices. For the office let's just do six of these. For the office you need three things. You need a desk, you need a desk chair and you need a filing cabinet. And why is this not indoors? This is... So oh, it is indoors. Great. Yes. Let's just see. Here we need the office desk right there. Let's see how we will put, how we will put it. Mm. Yeah, I like to keep it in the middle. So, just like that, and then turn it around, and just like that, and like that, and like that. And a chair there, 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 and then just a filing cabinet. I'll just put it up here. This is what makes up a an office, right? And now you need to hire a warden, but I can't do that now because it exceeds my daily budget. It's because I hired that uh, that amount of workers and now I only have $70 in my daily budget in overflow. So I need to fire someone until I get at least $200 worth in my daily budget because, well, my warden's wages is uh, are uh, 200 per day. Right, now I can hire him. The first thing you want to do is to unlock finance through him. And this is up in bureaucracy. You can have that once you've uh, hired your warden. And the reason why we started building the offices is because the warden needs an office. If he doesn't have a working office with everything that he needs, he can't research uh, finance or any of the other things here. But the reason for finance is because once you hire a uh, an accountant, you can actually exceed the daily budget. And that is going to come in handy for the first few things. Right. Now you need the, some fundamental things like electricity and water. And this is why I've done these here. I am going to... Let's see which one of these will become the... Yes, I am going to build it here. Just like that. And you not only need a generator, you also need a capacitor. Right now, let's see how it looks when they install the generator. Boom, 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 boom. He's installing it now. Yes, right now it has a bar over here which shows how much power it is currently generating and how much it can generate. And you can see if I put in a capacitor here, it will be different. He's running as fast as he can to install the capacitor. 
Right, now you see a little black uh, divider here. It's because once you have a capacitator, you can store twice as much power here, or generate, or whatever it's called. And you can actually install a capacitator all the way around it. It's very expensive, but it's necessary because you're going, you are going to need a lot of power. Right. Next thing you need to do is to build a water pump. And, well, let's just build that in up here. Okay, I need to do some quick planning here. Objects, this is going to, it's five times five, or this five times five. This is not going to work itself out. So maybe if we could we do this and then that and then this. Yes, we could do that. This means that I have placed this wrong. I'm going to cancel these here and I am going to dismantle all of this. Why can't I do that? Dismantle. Dismantle. Why? What's the problem here? Come on. Dismantle. Okay. Something's wrong here. But never mind. We can do that. We can do it individually. Yes. So, once these two are dismantled, along with this, we can place it in the right place. And don't worry. Those you dismantle, you won't lose. They'll just be stored up in the storage area. Yes. So here is a power station there and some capacitors around it. Yes. And then the water pump up here. And the reason I'm putting it up here is because there are going to be wires connecting all of these stations here. And when you have another power generator here, a power station here, you don't want any wires crossing from this up here to ones over here. If you can follow my train of thought. See, just some more planning here. I find it that planning stuff is really necessary in order to not lose a lot of time. See, now this is also not going to work if you want more power stations in here. Power stations in here. So actually, <laughs> I think I'm going to need to uh, move this once more. See, this is what I'm talking about, about planning. I should have placed it all the way down here instead of, and then have it like that uh, yeah this is what happens when you don't plan it and uh, I don't know about you but I find it very disturbing very disnerving and uh, very irritating because it fits all of this in here but it wouldn't have if I it won't fit if I don't plan it <sighs> so now I need to dismantle all of this again sorry guys for all of this Right. Now I can actually put the power station down here. Come on, yes. Put it there, and then the capacitors right there. Great. Now we have a working capacitor, uh, working power station with the maximum amount of capacitors here, and we are going to build a underground wire or electrical cable over here. Okay, I'm not gonna build it there because I'd like it to go here. No reason for this, just the way I like it to be. <clears throat> yes. And of course, for the electrical cables to have any effect, you need to have some lights put in. And that's what I'm going to do here. You can find them on the objects and then out here in the left side. Yes. Let's just have these guys build the cables finished. And the warden has finished unlocking finance. The accountant is going to need $200 per day also. So we need to fire some more people. And now we have her. Yes. And... Now you can see that 
This office is now the warden's office, and this is the accountant's office. The officers are going to assign themselves to whoever needs it. And, as you can see here, it worked. We now have a fully working office area, where you can have your chief, you can have your foreman, you can have your psychologist, psychologists, you can have a lawyer, and everything working here. And, uh, well, I wanted to do a little bit more today, but I can see that it actually did take a lot of time. So, this video is just going to be about building the office and getting the electrical system to work. Oh, one more thing. We needed the water pump right there. Yes. And it needs electricity also, so we are going to build it up here. Right. Let's just wait until they have finished building that. Just two more cables. And one more. Ooh, it's getting exciting now. It works! Right. Yes, but thank you for being here at the Game Cave. My name is Weasel Bandit. I'll see you next time when we will be building some cells for your prisoners. See you in the next episode. Bye.